Um, so anyway, speaking speaking of all that, um, Lynn, how have you seen user groups change in the last 20 years? And where do you see them headed in the future? So many good questions, Frank. Well, user groups, um, they've definitely morphed. That's for sure. That's true. I mean, you know, I... I feel like many people thought that user groups would go by the wayside with the internet and with YouTube and with um, Google, because now you can find all this information online. Who needs user groups anymore? But they haven't because there's there's still that uh, networking aspect of it and this wanting to be with other people who do what you do all day and to wanting to stick it together and discuss things and Uh, so I, you know, I feel like in some cases, maybe they've waned a little bit, the face-to-face ones maybe, but in some cases I would say that they have not. It sounds Um, like they're making a comeback over at, uh, Dassault. Oh, for sure. For sure. Now COVID changed a lot of things, right? So everything had to go online. I know that for us, we, um, did every, we all of a sudden switched from face-to-face to meetups. So they, mm-hmm. and, and there was a lot of crankiness about that. <laughs> People were like, what? Virtual user groups? That'll oh. never work. Which is funny because that's kind of what Augie's, so much of what Augie's right. based on in a way. Um, but uh, so I think that while the land of the internet, you know, I have to remember for all you youngins out there, there was a time when there was no internet. <laughs> if you can imagine. <laughs> People actually did have to meet face to face. And um, as, like I said, YouTube and being able to Google and get answers other ways have come to to pass, even though that all exists, I think that people still want to get together. And I think that that, that's just going to get stronger and stronger. So how is it going to look in the future? I think there, there still will be, I think there'll be Augie. I think that there will be virtual user groups. I think there'll be people that want to meet online. And then I think there's going to be the people that want to get together and see right. each other and talk to each other. Like I said, I just went to one in Portland. I live in Portland, Oregon, everybody. And uh, I just went to a, just a super fun and fabulous user group meeting in Portland, Oregon. It was great. Cool. So Cool. Um, moving on. So what do you, can, this might be a softball for you. I hope it is. What do you consider? I like to be, softballs. <laughs> what do you throw all at? softballs from now on? Uh, well, I might do that. Some of that. Certainly no hardball. Um, in your opinion, what is the most impactful change in our industry since that first interview in the last twenty years? <laughs> that's a softball. Sure, it is. Don't throw me any hardballs. No, oh, that's a softball question. I think. I think, okay, I think I have, I, I can do this one. Okay, <laughs> so I'll sit back. Uh, so I was one of the early um, champions of the cloud. And I was one of the first people out there running around doing road shows and presentations mm-hmm. on the cloud and why you should care about it and why it's important and, and how it's going to help right. you have a better CAD life, if you will, design life, you know, talking about the advantage, people like, yeah, cloud, 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 I get it, I get it. And I'm like, you don't really get it. You don't really, (laughs) you think you get it. You don't really get and understand the advantages. And I'm still preaching it. And I still don't think people fully understand that, you know, the power of the cloud, that, you know, the mobility aspect, the ability to, you know, access your design data anytime, anywhere, any place, the, the collaboration aspect of it, being able to talk to people anywhere in the world and work with anybody anywhere in the world, truly collaborate on your designs. And then the most, the biggest deal with the cloud, honestly, is that infinite computing power where now you're no longer limited to whatever hardware your boss decides that you're worthy to have, but you can access those 90 million servers, which when I first started talking, it was like 10 million servers. (laughs) (laughs) And now it's like 90 million servers out there and do that super computing, right? Like things like, you know, simulation of any type, whether it's energy simulation or if it's just simulating, you know, the integrity of a product or whatever, or, or rendering. Oh my gosh, rendering. We all know what it was like. It started really all days to render with, you know, pack a lunch. It might take you a day or a week or 
sometimes a month to do a really good rendering. All that can be done like that in right. the cloud. So, yep. you know, these types of things uh, have, you know, this has really affected us in the last few years. And and now we have platforms. So I spent a lot of time talking about the 3D experience platform where you're, you totally immerse yourself in this world that allows you to do all this collaboration and, and all, all things cloud and really take it to the next level. And uh, truly, this true collaborative environment. And I think that, you know, COVID in particular has really shown you the importance of being able to work with people that are not in your office next door. They're, right. they're remote. We have so many people working remote, and that's where platforms really, really show the way. So, a lot of what I talk about is the 3D Experience platform, which is an amazing design platform built by people who totally understand what, how, that, what you need to do. What you do for a living is completely focused and built around people mm -hmm. that have to do product design and and CAD and 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 so on and so forth, mechanical manufacturing, any yeah. of that, end to end. Well, now I sound salesy, but sorry, but it's that's what that's, yeah, that's what I. That's okay. About. I mean, because that's kind of how I feel. That's been a big change the, in, and, in the last in the last few years. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, wait a second, what if she doesn't go where I think she's going to? But you hit the ball out of the park because Did I, I, I thought you know. Lynn will, will it will be the cloud. So let's let's just go with that. So congratulations. Home run. I love talking yeah. about it. Yeah. Um it's that's great. So and you're exactly right, too. I mean, what what a change this world has seen uh in 20 years, but certainly the last five, and it's just crazy that way. So um yeah, so you know, Augie's gone through change also. Every anybody and everything in 20 years will have gone through change. I mean you spoke about it earlier. We started out as little old Nog, right? There's a handful of us being being Nog, and then we turned into uh, Augie the acronym. And now we're Augie, not the acronym. We're just Augie the oh, word. Oh, that's right. And, that's and so right. we continue to change. Um, and like four and name changes. We're we're changing in the background as as we speak right now. You're changing, and but, you're helping other people change too, though. Which we love. You're helping the industry change, embrace change. I mean, I think that's what you guys are the best at. Yeah. And we're apparently also really good at gaining membership <laughs> because that's something else that's really changed in the last. There's strength uh, in numbers, years. Frank. Strength in numbers. Would you believe if I told you now that we have over 602,000 members at Augie? Un or, unbelievable. Um, yeah, it really is. And, and still growing. So I don't know. At some point, we may have some contest to. Uh, no, that's hard to believe. In my early days, when I when I was first the, in charge yeah. of Augie, I used to get bonuses based on how many people were members. I would have been rich, Frank. Rich, Frank, rich, I would have been rich. Uh, <laughs> care to guess uh, what the membership was back when you did that first interview? In 2002? 2002. This is not. Not a quiz. There's no points to be gained by this. Wrong answers I don't only. Know, like eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Good guess. A little high. <laughs> Fifty thousand. Uh, it was actually thirty-four thousand. Wow. Oh, thirty-four thousand. Grown like crazy. And change. Uh, so just uh, in case people wonder whether or not user groups continue exactly. to be successful, we're still that's relevant. Crazy. I know. People better um, pay attention to you guys. Right. Exactly. That's my takeaway. Always listen to Lynn. Yeah. Uh, so if, <laughs> I, I, I think we hit those levels 80,000 uh, ish a couple of years later. And it just, you know, so it's really cool. That's how valuable you guys are. I love it. I love it. Um, That's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's just, it's mind boggling to tell you the truth. You should have um, lots of sponsors. <laughs> right. So, you know, when we did that first interview with you, um, AutoCAD 2002. Um, had been out since uh, summer of the previous year. And of course, it was considered state-of-the-art at the time. Any new software is state-of-the-art. Um, and it had new features. That's a big thing about new software. And some of them um, are still used today and others have long since retired. You know, Not all features stay around uh, for the life of the product. Um, but among the survivors that, that were important then was associative dimensions. Can't imagine doing things without the dimensions being associated to the objects anymore. Uh, layer translator um, was new. Um, the CAD manager's best friend, eTransmit, was introduced. And of course, everyone's favorite AutoCAD command, the block attribute manager, was new, which is better known to everyone as 
What Batman. Was? Batman. Batman. Yeah, I love I love adding Batman yeah. to my uh, all the express presentation. tools for yeah. Batman. All the express tools are awesome. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I remember uh, off topic here meeting uh, Randy Kinsley oh, time and uh, he just was thinking genius. man, I want his job. You know, you got such a cool job, dude. Anyway. <laughs> uh so other than commands like that, that we still use, is there any aspect um, of our industry that you feel really hasn't changed any at all in 20 years? We've talked about change, but you know, what hasn't really changed? What hasn't changed? Well, people still yeah. need to get their jobs done. Of course. <laughs> a lot of people still have to turn in DWGs. I think we kind of laugh, you know, working at Autodesk, everybody was like, oh, AutoCAD's going to be gone. This 2D CAD stuff's going to be gone. It's yeah. going to drop off the face of the earth. This is the next product, you know? We've and yet years. it's still the number one CAD program in the world, right? At least 2D CAD, sure. DWG formats, still number one, mm-hmm. right? So you, we're still working with 2D CAD. And by the way, DraftSite does a great job at DWG. I'm going to throw that plug in there as well. There you go. you okay. don't have to use AutoCAD to get a DWG format. But um, it's just that, you know, we're still drawing lines, arcs, and circles. Right. We're still, still doing a lot in 2D, whether we like it or not. Um so the world did not go completely to 3D. We can't just turn in a 3D drawing of our building. Wouldn't yeah. that be great if we could? We still have to turn in those those flat 2D construction yeah. documents. And the same is true in the mechanical space as well, in many sure. cases, not all cases. But someday, maybe it won't be like that. So that part yeah. hasn't changed. Um, all right. Is that a good enough answer? That's good enough. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um... We still have to deal so, with people. People haven't changed. No, people haven't changed much. I, I, I like the take on the, you know, 2D CAD. I've heard that for years also that, oh, you know, there will be no drawing files anymore. And then you won't have any need for, you know, 2D draft. Well, still it's, it's still here. Um, it'll be here maybe someday. Uh, I guess we'll see. 